back again. Uh, this is not a test video. This is just kind of a like a, a one year, one year later overview of the Kershaw Blur 1670 BLKST. This is the black uh, recurve, partially serrated. I don't know if it, I don't think it comes in just black with no serrations unless you get the black wash blade. But uh, anywho, one year later, this one still kicking. Highly recommend this blade, except for one little detail. But you know, it's it's all on how you use your knife and what it's intended for. Just want to throw that out there. What what the serrations are intended for, and what this plain edge is intended for, and what's going to happen if you use it for something else. Uh, I have three of these things. I'll show you the third one, which is going to be my new baby here in just a second, but I'm going to focus on these two for a second. This one's my other one. See, I got these two. They're identical, other than a couple of small details. This one I de-assisted. Since I had two, I wanted to see what it was all about. See, de-assisted. Still opens pretty good. If you give it a, a good, if I do it on camera, a little fl wrist flick, and it has just enough detent. It's not a lot, but just enough to where it's it's not going to come out on you or anything like that. And I think I kind of like having one that's de-assisted and then one that's stock. If I want that option, I've got it. And I think it's pretty neat. This one, that I, this is my second one I had that I didn't, that's stock. Uh, you know, I've used it on several things, zip ties, plastic straps and stuff for boxes and this and that. Not had a problem with those teeth on the serrations. And I'm having focus issues here. Sorry about that. There we go. Yeah, these teeth are perfect. There goes the focus again, sorry. <clears throat> Let me get over here. Yeah, the teeth on this one are perfect, but the teeth on this one, I've had issues with. Uh, I had the blade replaced because the teeth chipped out on a normal everyday zip tie. And they sent the knife back to me with a new blade it's kind of a weird one. It says Kershaw there, and the other one doesn't. And no model number on the blade. Whatever. Uh, <clears throat> but with this new blade, I've been cutting normal stuff. Not anything crazy. I might have hit a plastic strap with, with the teeth. But it was just... Hang on, let me, let me grab an example here. It was just this stuff here. And... Yes, I know, it's for an emergency, like seat belt, what have you, uh, teeth for stuff like that. But these, I think it's that, <clears throat> it's that Sandvik 14C28N blade steel. These teeth roll and chip so easily, it's not even funny. Yes, I would highly recommend this knife, teeth or no teeth, but, uh, I should say serrations. No serrations, or with the serrations, but still highly recommend this blade, given that tiny, I don't want to say flaw, but it's just a design thing with the teeth. They're meant for a certain purpose and they're not really going to take much abuse when it comes to something else. So with that in mind, I wouldn't do a bash video to bash this blade just because it does that when I'm when I'm misusing it. So, but da, 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 da. I think that's from an 80's video game or some crap. I don't know what that was. Sorry. This is my new baby. I haven't carried it yet. All I did was switch the clip to tip up. It's the Blur 1670 OL BLK. Blah, blah, blah. OL BLK. And that's referring to its color. It's the olive green, the olive drab color. Really freaking cool looking. And this one, stock assisted, but plain edge. I wanted to see how the Sandvik 14C28N would hold up. Uh, with no serrations. If I had had those same chipping issues uh, on the blade, because on this one, on the recurve plain edge part, I haven't had any of those problems. Not one whatsoever on both of these. See how it's, sometimes it'll, it'll just open up for you right there without the assisted. Just boom. No wrist flick. That's why I wanted the de-assisted. I wanted to see how it performed without it. And so far, I like having both versions. This one I'm going to leave stock. Uh, stock lockup is 
goodness, I want to say 10%, maybe less. Let's see if I can get you, get a look at it. Yeah, yeah I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably not, but it's all right. Take my word for it. About 10%. Good early lockup. Room to break in. <clears throat> I'm going to leave it stock like I said. Play with it. This may be my new favorite. Uh, not beater or anything, but my favorite uh, pretty expensive knife. I think I got it for like 60 bucks on eBay. 58, 60 bucks on eBay. Free shipping. Don't quote me on price. Those prices change all the time. But this was just a little follow-up. You know, we're not going to do any testing with it. We're just going to follow up and say, hey, this this knife, I freaking, there's a thousand or more videos on YouTube about them. You've all seen them. This knife is cool. Everybody likes it. But uh, I think that's all I got for you today. As always, be safe. And until next time.